So we are at the Hippocrates Health Institute in West Palm Beach, Florida. It's the middle of a beautiful Saturday. It's chilly but sunny and it's our last day here and we are just looking back at our two weeks that we spent here and there are so many good memories that we want to collect and document. So yeah, Subha, would you like to start? Yeah, so Hippocrates Health Institute is the world's most prestigious natural cancer healing institute. By many, this place is called the healthiest place on earth. So people from all around the world come to Hippocrates to uh, reverse their chronic diseases, destructive diseases. So we were here for two weeks and we came here to learn about how they do this, how they reverse such big problems just by changing lifestyle and food. So what I love the most about the institute is the raw food. What are you eating today? So in a typical plate, we have lots of sprouts, broccoli sprouts, sunflower sprouts. We have kimchi or sauerkraut as the fermented food. We have some peppers for the sweet. We have lots of greens. So today I took spinach, baby spinach. Some of the other kind of dressing. Some fat like avocado. We don't use salt here. Instead we use sea vegetables. So this one is called dulse. And this is today's side dish. I don't know the name. But every day we have one side dish. That's what we have today. Ever since we've come here, we've been almost 100% raw, which means that all the food that we eat is living food. It's not touched the fire. And you may ask why? What, what's the reason for this? This sounds absurd. But there's a deep uh, science behind it. Whenever our food is heated above 46 degrees Celsius, the enzymes, the nutrients in that food are immediately lost. They serve a lot of sprouts. Clover sprouts, fenugreek sprouts, red lentil sprouts, lentil sprouts, mung bean sprouts, pea sprouts, buckwheat sprouts, adzuki bean sprouts. These are fenugreek sprouts, extremely potent and nutritious. This looks like dal puri. Even though it's not dal puri, it's their version of rice. It's called sprouted kamut. I've never had it and I'm really excited to try it. So sprouts are something that most of us really don't know about. Here we see sunflower sprouts. So you know that beautiful yellow color flower, which is a sunflower? At one stage that plant looked like this. And they came from seeds, which are just exactly like this. And now this seed has sprouted into a beautiful sprout. You can even have a look at how the root systems are being formed over here. This right here is about 7 to 8 days old. And this, this sprout right here, is a complete food in itself. It is high in proteins, high in nutrients, vitamins, minerals, everything our body needs. The second big thing that they do here is the wheatgrass. So every day we are required to drink wheatgrass juice twice a day. As you can see, there are these very shallow trays in which they put soil and a layer of seeds. These are nothing but wheat, wheat berries. And Within seven to eight days, we have this tall wheatgrass. Wheatgrass actually is also called liquid sunshine in many places because drinking a small cup of wheatgrass juice is like drinking sunshine. There you go. That's the wheatgrass, okay. Now it's gonna go into this juice salad. And now we have six Saba ready. Are you ready? Alright, let's do it. As you can see, Sabah has some difficulty with the wheatgrass juice. And let's see how I do. I don't know how you do it. Next, we would like to talk about how they make exercising a lot of fun. So which was your favorite exercise session? My here? favorite exercise was the trampoline workout. So they lay out like 15, 20 different trampolines and everyone is just jumping on the trampolines together and there's music playing and there's an instructor who everyone's copying. So that was undoubtedly my favorite one. And to see old people, yeah. those who are a little bit, you know, who scared of walking also, suddenly put on a trampoline and they're trying to figure out what are, what are we supposed to do? And they do it for 45 minutes to an hour. So it's beautiful to see the youthfulness which is inside each of us. Sitting on a desk and a chair, we've lost that side of us which is just to jump and have fun. And I think they bring out that quality in everyone here. For sure, they've made exercise fun. Exercise 
is not supposed to be bought like we've proved it what else do you take back the green juices the green juices i think the two times of the day i used to wait for so the green juice was very unusual over here it was actually made of 50% of sprouts and 50% of green leafy uh, or other green vegetables so they used two sprouts sunflower sprouts and pea sprouts in their green juice and it's 10 am which means it's time for green juice so here i have a full glass of delicious green juice cucumber celery sunflower sprouts and pea sprouts so here goes So Subhas, all about the food. Her three points have been raw food, <laughs> wheat grass, <laughs> and juice. Yeah. And uh, clearly for me, it was good. The food is good, but it's not the highlight of the place. I really feel like the the people here make a big difference. Each and every person, the psychotherapists, the doctors, the person giving you your juices, the staff in the kitchen, every single person belongs here. It just feels like they care about you. and they want you to have a good time somewhere inside i feel we really connect with each person so for me having such a caring and loving team is such an important part of the healing process and hippocrates does that really well one more thing that we really appreciate is that there there was a lot of focus on education they really want us to go back home and live this way not just come here lose some kgs go back eat the same food we used to at home come back again again lose no this is not that kind of a place this is very different this is a place where they empower you to become your own healer and to become your own healer you need a lot of knowledge so every day we would spend for 4 to 5 hours three lectures a day three lectures a day just learning and sometimes the lectures used to run 1 hour 2 hours q and a sessions lectures on detoxification lectures on emfs and you know food and sprouts and all different kinds of topics i think every time i used to go sit for a lecture i used to sit with my notebook and my notebook was just like i, I used to keep writing and writing and writing and writing and writing because there was so much to absorb when we live in cities our version of nature is plants in the house <laughs> that's what we yeah. and some sunshine coming in through the windows and we yeah. like oh wow we have <laughs> nature coming in but when we come to places like this and you can see places behind us we don't know how thick this jungle is i mean there could be you could have trees and trees, trees and then there's a pathway to go somewhere else and then you're suddenly in the middle of a lake so i feel the way they've designed the campus is you kind of find yourself going into nature here and it's so beautiful that even after having been here for 2 weeks we haven't covered the entire campus it's so big and there's so many nooks and corners everywhere what are you up to soaking in the beautiful trees enjoying the green all around me and if you were here i would show you all around how beautiful and green it is here. and of course the swinging chair is really cool another another place that i really like here at the institute is the store So this is what the store looks like. We have different health products here, lot of essential oils. We got a lot of books from here. There's a sprouting section where there's things like sprouting jars, the easy sprouter, sprouting bags, sprouting lots of sprouting seeds. They also have a lot of organic um products made of edible ingredients. I remember last last time when I came. By the way, I came here 4 years ago and 4 years ago when I was here I was here for 9 weeks. So spent a lot of time and I went back with a big suitcase of like tons and tons of books. So you do your laundry, you take out your own big grass juice, you make your own you come and make your own salads. You have to follow your own schedule and really you're pretty much on your own. The doctors give you suggestions and the staff is always here to help, but no one's pampering you, no one's following you around, no one's keeping a check on you. it's self responsibility and for me that's a big learning because healthcare outside of here is all about someone else doing things on our behalf where we aren't empowered to take our own decisions we are told what to do and we simply have to follow here it's like it's a little playground where i can do what i want mm. there are suggestions but i have to fit it in my schedule so i really feel like 
they help people take responsibility for where they are in their lives and this is huge when it comes to healing because we always blame situations for not being able to heal and here you yeah. really have to pick up your own self so that's incredible so another big part of the healing over here is letting go and releasing any old baggage any unexpressed emotions any negative thoughts that we may be carrying from the past what we learned here was that until we let go and release and shed those emotions out we cannot possibly heal i want to also share with all of you that the reason we are making this video is because we were so touched by this place and we wanted to let you all know that this place exists i know that it may be very uh, difficult for many of you to come here but maybe many of you are living in the states and it may be easy for you to come yeah. here and if you are planning to come do check the schedules when brian and anna are here brian and anna are the co directors they are the people who run the place and their energy really adds a lot of uh, value to what this place is so if you are coming here check the schedules make sure they are here those weeks so you can get the most out of it when you are here yeah and also one reason we were here was to learn the health philosophy but another reason we were here was because we wanted to learn how these health centers are run because the more and more satvik movement is growing we feel the need the urgent need to have a physical center but we don't have right now the knowledge to run a physical center but coming to places like these we are able to experience it and we dream of having one satvik health center soon that big day so yeah with this we would like to thank you for watching and uh, we hope we can set up a center soon so we can meet you and you could be making such videos at the satvik center and encouraging more people to create more centers like these because these aren't centers these are spaces for communities to come together and celebrate life and healing is just one small part of it so yeah thank you